guys, Songo here, picking off where we left off last time, uh, in this ship graveyard cave. And now we're going back out to the ship graveyard to face Fairgraves, or as his nickname was not too long ago, Unfair Graves, because he just one-shot you. Which is why you need life immediately as soon as you can for everything ah damn it i'm on camera again i did not pick up those items okay well wherever uh fair graves is over there uh yeah so he's with whom we are taking the all flame to yeah. Won't, I won't, I won't. I already said I would not. So, nope. And this is what he, he, well, actually, originally, he was just a really powerful uh, melee attack creature that didn't do much of anything, as is typical with this game. <clears throat> but, Later, they reworked him to do this stuff. I guess it's kind of fun. Leave is over, Captain. And now that I've killed uh, Unfair Graves, uh, which, oh, I'm going to turn in the quest. Let's see. Oh, right, I did not turn in the quest. Oh my god. That was the entire point. So, a book of skill. This grants a passive skill point, which we use here, to get increased skill effect duration. And taking another, turning in another uh, quest for Flame Dash, which is basically a short range teleport. What do I give up for this? Hmm. That's... Okay, screw it. Yeah, I wish they'd expand this hotbar, especially since you have to use one of them on the move only key, which should just be a rebindable key instead of an ability. Yeah. But it's more than what Heroes of the Storm has, I guess. Not gonna pick that up, not gonna pick it up. Urgh. I'm a I'm just going to pick up the rare horns, okay? <laughs> so, uh, what Essence Strain does is throws out a projectile, which applies a relatively strong dot. And for each point of damage you deal, you heal a little bit, which is part of why I call this the Life from Death uh, build. And what's even cooler is that if you hit something with Contagion on it, uh, Contagion should spread that Essence Strain. So just watch, that's going down, and now they are going down. Whereas normally, it's pretty slow. And boom. Yeah, I think it, at this point, uh, using Wither might be worthwhile. If, uh, ooh, a rare monster. So, let's see just how it, well, it works. Meh. Still would be better to just spam my abilities that actually do direct damage. So, increasing skill effect duration again. By the way, I leveled up is why I got the skill point, in case that was not obvious. Just throwing that down, and... Oh. Mm. <clears throat> uh. oh, yes. Okay, so... Pretty cool, just watching things die.
used to be, uh, before they streamlined this, there was a whole nother area between this cave and the ship graveyard, which had served really no function except to be a filler, as with most of this game. But, okay, I'll stop saying that, Jesus Christ. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, <clears throat> why do I keep saying that? Because I have nothing to talk about, at least at the very moment. <clears throat> Just killing things. And... Okay. Just... There's absolutely no reason to be here for me. Aside from traveling to the actual boss and moving on to a higher level zone. So, unfortunately, I have to skip all of this. And... Okay. <clears throat> and that's Flame Dash, in case you haven't... You... Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> not a new ability. Well, it was released only a couple months ago. But... Not one of the... Abilities present from... Uh... The... New patch. Patch 2.1, they call it. Uh, they explode. In fact, all of these explode. Let's kill them with knives. Uh, I'm probably gonna fail here. Because I need to protect this thing in order to win, and I'm not doing that particularly well. So. Oh, yeah. So, need to last for another half a minute. Uh. I actually enjoy these mini missions from the masters which came with the master er, forgotten masters expansion i think it was called so yeah fun You're a of course not all of the quests are particularly good but i find that one quite acceptable or er, elrion's be at least just gonna dash right through them no point in fighting considering the only thing this game is about is fighting monsters it's kind of odd choice to make it so it's pointless to fight some monsters in some areas Ooh. and look we got a corrupted zone from yet another expansion. Don't worry, all of the expansions are free, as this is a free-to-play game, but the corrupted something. Or er, patch 2.0, was it? Which added corrupted zones. So, what this does is monsters reflect 10% of physical damage. So, since this does physical damage, if I hit for 30 damage, I'll take 3. And this is basically an AoE ability. So I could be hitting 5 things, or even 10, since it fires 10 projectiles, and take 30 damage, which is a pretty healthy sum of my health. So I'm gonna, in fact, even make it so I cannot use that and instead just burn them down and yeah hopefully profit from the plus 12 percent increased number of uh well yeah uh items yes items no not gonna pick that up not gonna. i'll only pick up the rares so that i don't go back in the middle of recording. <coughs> uh, yeah. And looks like we've got the boss here. That big red one is 
a immunity is one of those that grants immunity to uh, their allies. Which, considering that they, uh, she summons them, that didn't seem to summon a lot of them, I guess. Is it just because it's low level? I've got absolutely no idea. What the hell? I've never seen this. Let's go to Cavern of Anger. Oh, so they just gave portals out so you don't have to run all the way back. Thank you! Thank you! Finally, GGG, uh, Grinding Gear Games, the company responsible for this game, does something pretty smart. It was such an inconvenience to, how to say, uh, have to run back after clearing it out. So yeah, good thing that changed. It should now be quite nice for anyone else who wants to get into the game. Well, oh. <laughs> right, so just moving on because I'm over leveled and they aren't giving any XP. As I said, that's probably not a good uh, thing. Oh, right. From the corrupted thing, we got hit a fall burning arrow, which is completely useless. But after collecting souls, you get to use this, and then it explodes, <clears throat> dealing a uh, larger than average sum of stuff. And this is the actual Act Boss, or uh, Act 1. And, oh, I don't think I maxed out my Ice uh, Resistance, but generally don't need to if you're making sure to dodge everything. <clears throat> oh. And, as you can see, her um, health bar is actually covered by a blue thing that is energy shield. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's sweep through that. And chaos damage bypasses energy shield. <coughs> so even though she had some, it didn't matter. So. Uh, just gonna be lobbing these over at her while hopefully uh, dodging everything. And there. Uh, I should be getting some good amount of HP back from doing damage, so I'm just gonna sit here and channel this. Or how do I miss? I don't know. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Uh, so. Again, pretty brain dead. Oh, and I know that was just 15 minutes. Oh. We stopped at 3, 5.15 last time. So, 20 minutes later would be 3, or er, 5.34. Or 35, rather. So, oh, and the game's got a couple of these lore objects. Doreso gave me the gem, kissed me, promised that he would be by my side forever. I sang for him. Let's I turn up the volume. I with his gem at my throat. Kalisa's gem. Kalisa's voice. I sang in her echo, performing arias that had once made the Empire weep. I listened to Kalisa's lullabies in my dreams. I gave myself to her music, mind, and body. Doreso left me for Sam with a promise to free me from Kalisa. I begged him not to go, tried to show him the wonder of my transformation, the beautiful daughters he would soon meet. He 
couldn't see. None of them could see. I fled from their hatred. When Dorisu returns, I will cast his cure away. I will teach him what true love is. So that's basically the diary of Mervale. And he will find out who Dorisu is. And probably 10 episodes at this rate. <laughs> uh, he's in Act 4. We are currently in Act 2. Savagery thrives all around me. Made it to the waypoint, so have fun and have a good day.